Hi, this is Hazel Grace Yates, and I'm here to share what is the Pussy Project and also a personal testimony because I got to participate in it recently, which was awesome. So the Pussy Project is basically the reverse of the Cock Project, which I've been leading these workshops for the last three years. The Cock Project is to give men an opportunity to talk about their genitals and their sexuality in the presence of other women and people of other genders. So the Pussy Project is for women to talk about their genitals and their sexuality in the presence of men and anybody on the gender spectrum who wants to support and listen to them. And so if you can imagine, it's like a, a women's circle that's being surrounded by compassionate witnesses there to just listen with curiosity and love and compassion. And this supports my goal in my, my mission in life, which is to end global sexual shame. And there's, Brene Brown says, the antidote for to shame is empathy. And these circles really do, do create that, the inner circle and the outer circle. And what was my experience? I felt really held. So when the questions were asked and there's different questions like, what do you like about your genitals? What do you not like about your genitals? What was it like the first time you had an orgasm? Um, what did your parents tell you about sexuality? So th there's questions like this. And then any woman who feels inspired to answer the question, then she takes the talking piece and, and shares and I can remember when it was my turn to speak, I felt this really powerful sisterhood connection and I felt held and supported by my sisters. Uh, and then I, there was also this added layer of support from this, the witnesses, the circle outside of myself. And, and for me, it was really powerful to have men hear my stories. And um, as much work as I've done, over the years to heal my heal heal my stuff around my sexuality i i remember thinking okay well i'm going to i'm going to talk and i'm going to talk to kind of be the role model and lead for for the other women so they feel comfortable sharing these vulnerable shares Whew. and i was really surprised when it was my turn to talk how much hurt and anger was still there and how cathartic it was to release that and to be witnessed with my sisters and to be witnessed by the circle outside of myself and these circles are really circles of sacredness and honor and uh, I'm going to be continuing to lead these and I'm excited and if you have any interest I would love for you to participate and if you have any questions let me know if you want me to bring this to your city let me know and thanks for listening <laughs>